Why is spiritual fitness so important? This is so important. I want you to know it because we are in a spiritual battle. There is spiritual warfare going on everywhere. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to read you Ephesians 6.12, New Living Translation. Those of you that are believers that have the Spirit of God know what this is about. You already know that this is a war in the spiritual. But some of you may not realize that. Some of you may just think it's flesh. Some of you may just think it's good people, bad people, but it's much deeper than that. Let me read this. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Darkness, darkness. I talked the other week about October. And, you know, isn't it funny that we go, um, not we, the um, that all this Israel stuff happened in October. The enemy goes, works overtime in October. He loves the darkness. And I'm here to shine the light because we are in the end times. And if you only stay in the natural, if you only have surface faith and think, you know, this is just we're at war in the natural, just in the physical, you are missing it. You will not, we are in the end times and you will not survive these if you do not get with God and start to understand what the spiritual war means. You need God in your life. Let me read to you. If you don't think we're in the um, end times, you can listen to anyone <laughs> who is sharing scripture, teaching the gospels, and they will tell you What's happening? I mean, I hear this verse from so many different teachers and preachers right now, and I'm just, or um, it's a passage. I'm going to read it to you. 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5. But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty, for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness but denying its power. Avoid such people. You don't know how to avoid such people if you don't have discernment, if you don't have the Holy Spirit in your life. You want to determine, you want to overcome the spiritual battle, the spiritual warfare in our nation, you need to get smart about it. You need to, Matthew 24, 44, therefore, you also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. You don't know when he's coming? I don't know when he's coming. He could come today. He could come tomorrow. Who knows? But you can see what's happening in the world. There are so many things in scripture, so many things about the end times um, you know, prophetic things that have happened that need to happen in these end times. And people do not realize it. People don't take it seriously because they're so wrapped up in these earthly physical things. So you need to be awake and aware because the truth is, if you, you need to realize we're just in a time where you can't put it off. You can't put off returning to the Lord, repenting of your sin, and getting right with God. Because, well, the one, yeah, you want, you want to, you don't, you want to be saved. You don't want, you don't want to be here when the Antichrist comes. You want to be saved. You want to be one of those people that gets lifted during the rapture. But the other thing is, is if you don't have that spiritual strength that for that warfare, I remember having fear in the natural. It's this fear in the natural, watching stuff. All you got to do is pick up social media and it can overcome you and overwhelm you. You need tools to fight this spiritual battle. You need the word of God. You need the armor of God. I mentioned it last week. You need the armor of God. You need to go read about the armor of God in Ephesians. You can't just go on surface faith. You need Jesus. Yes, I said Jesus. You need Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the light. <sighs> I'm not saying this because I've been here. Like, I got this all figured out. I'm saying this because I realized I needed him too. 
and I want you to know you need him too. So I hope you receive this. I'm going to pray for you who watch it. Please share this video with other friends um, because this is this is the word of God. This is what people need to know that Jesus loves them and wants a relationship with them. We need more people to be saved and you might be the catalyst for a friend of yours. So please share this and follow me at Mentor Mama Mare for um, Instagram reels that are one minute versions of these videos and subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the link in my bio to sign up on the wait list for my course coming in January, end of January, all about this stuff. I'm helping you grow up and get real with God. For those of you that have thought, oh, I might want to do that. I'm helping you get it, get to that place because I had to get there myself and I want to show you how. So check it out. And I'm also mentoring if you're interested. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one mentoring, spiritual mentoring, that's my gig. You reach out to me. I'll put the email in the YouTube. All right. Have a great one.